Hi, Liz Ness here. In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the brush library and how I keep it organized. Inside of the brush library, I've just tapped a little brush icon up here and I've got the library. There's this little plus sign right here. And if you tap that, you create a new set. Some people like to think of these as folders. Um, the official name is set, but you can call it whatever you want to. So um, anyway, creating a new set, um, you can give it whatever kind of name you want, including a bunch of dots. And I have done this. Um, as a section separator for, for a while now. So let's go ahead and move this down because that's how this all works too. You can just tap, hold, and then drag and put this new set wherever you want to inside of your brushes. So let's just put it right here underneath demos. So I use these as empty sets. There's nothing in them. They're, I just treat them as if they're section dividers. But you could actually name this something and say all patterns and put all of your patterns into it, for example. So how do you do that? How do you, you know, put a brush into it inside of a set? Well, you could either create one by doing that, by pressing this little plus sign, or you could move one into it. So let's find one. Let's see. Let's go to our confetti here and take that top one here and just uh, tap it, drag it, and put it right inside of that set. Okay, so that's how you do it. I don't want to leave it there, <laughs> so I'm going to put this back. Whoop. Okay, right there. Okay, it's back in our confetti set. But that's really how you move these things around. And then if you decide you don't like that set anymore, you want to delete it for whatever reason, you just tap it twice, and you can uh, tap delete. You can also keep it by sharing it. So you share it, and then you give it a location for where you'd like to keep that. Uh, that folder. So I have a bunch of these little separators and this one to me with that little icon represents patterns. And so any of the things that you buy from me that are pattern sets will also have that icon in the set name. And each of the brushes will have, if it, if it truly is a pattern, will have that little pattern icon. Now some of my sets have a couple different things in them. Let's go look at the wreath brushes. So this is the little icon I use for wreaths, and I will show you this a little bit more in a second. But for now, I just want to say this is my wreath section separator. And I have some wreath sets, and I have divided them into, this one is stamps, and it primarily has stamps, but it also has some text brushes. I have since changed the A, but there's, you're going to find some of the old legacy A's here. Um, there's a new A that I use instead to signify text brush. In any case, these brushes will uh, you know, all be labeled according to what they are. So you could actually take these brushes and put them into a, you know, a brush set that is nothing but like text brushes, nothing but stamps or something like that. It's completely up to you. Um, but I try to make this um, sort of obvious about what they are. So to give you flexibility too, so you can store them the way you want to and organize them the way you want to. But I also break up the sets so that it makes it easier to find what you're looking for and kind of helps the flow be a little bit faster, so your workflow will be faster. So these are the stamps primarily for the festive winter brush set, and these are the wreath brushes or brushes that follow a path for that same set. And so it just makes it easy for you know, if you're looking for a particular brush, it, it, I try to make it as fast as possible so that you can just, you know, focus on working instead of focus on finding. So that's kind of what that is up here. All right, Simply Spring, it's just a, you know, it's a smaller set and all of the brushes are right here, including a texture or pattern brush um, for the watercolor texture. So you can see that it's got that little icon, whereas the rest of them have the little wreath icon. So that's kind of how it all works. And I have a bunch of these little section separators and a bunch I'm not using quite yet, but intend to because of course I have a whole bunch of things that are in the works too. <laughs> and so one of the things I really liked were the, the icons. So because I think it's easier to find things when you have a picture of it. And that's kind of how Procreate works itself. So for all of the user created brushes, you have these little icons right here. And then I just put a little separator, it's still there from the old days, um, separating the brushes that I was creating versus the brushes that come standard with Procreate. And if it's a standard brush, they give you a specific icon that goes with their brush set. So it's really easy to keep sort of things, you know, separate and keep track of them. 
but I also just really like having icons. I think icons and words together just make it a lot easier to keep things organized and make it a lot easier to find things. If you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell so you're notified when new videos become available. Meanwhile, I hope your day is amazing.